and let's see Flavion Pratt just shakes the reins at flight line and take a good look at this because you're not going to see this too often maybe never again flight line 20 lengths clear Flavion Pratt takes a hold and canters in in the TVG Pacific Classic that is flight line as he captured the grade one one million dollar TVG Pacific Classic I can feel all of the owners next to me nodding it gave you chills it truly did I think everybody in the grade Sam became a fan if they weren't already. Jane Lyon, the breeder of Flight Line, just put into words what we witnessed from your big boy today. It's impossible to put it into words. It's, it's exhilarating, and I'm so proud of him and all the team and everyone. And let's go upward from here. Let's go upward. It's, it's wild to think that there could be upward from what he's shown us. And there's the roar from the crowd as the field for the Pacific Classic sent on the way. They all came away to an even beginning. Terry Finley, I'm going to have you in here next to Bill. You had told me earlier this week that this is the biggest weekend for West Point Thoroughbreds. Just describe now, after what he did, what the weekend meant to West Point. Well, everything, everything worked out really well. I really... <laughs> I'd say so. Country Grammar scrapes the paint in the white, just two lengths separates all those runners. Then comes Stiletto Boy and Royal Shop, impatiently ridden by Mike Smith, content to trail early, five off them. Down the back stretch they go, extra hope at the rail. Flight line now right up alongside and pretty keen to go on. Express train is a joint third. Country Grammar at this stage is four and a half lengths off the favorite. Behind that comes Royal Ship and Stiletto Boy. A half mile to go and Flightline doesn't want to wait. Flightline's picked up the running now and he kicks on to lead it by a length with a half mile to go and now he's widening. Flightline makes it two, now three as they go into the far turn. I just want to say thank you to John Sadler and his staff. I, on behalf of all the partners, I mean, the job he's done with this Colt, I, I, I mean, he takes your breath away and all the, all the credit to him. And it's a great partnership, and I'm proud to be part of it, and I love this game. Extra Hope is next. Country Grammar down at the rail. Stiletto Boy, Express Train, and still last as Royal Ship's going to come running, but he's got a good 10 lengths to make up on flight line. Let's see, a quarter of a mile to go in the Pacific Classic. Flavion Pratt and flight line are an embarrassing lead. It must be 15 lengths as they turn for home now. Bill, you've seen some good ones. How good is he? Yeah, um, he's very special. And for Jane to have bred a horse like this, it's just amazing. You're not around horses like this very often. I think that we can all feel that right now. Costa, you wanted him to be America's horse? Is he? That was my uh, my wish right after the Malibu. I said, this is going to be America's horse. And, and I'm hoping that everybody falls in love with him because he deserves it. Just he's, he's a beautiful equine athlete that's just, it's just very special. And I think we all need to appreciate him while he's here. And let's see Flavion Pratt just shakes the reins at flight line and take a good look at this because you're not going to see this too often, maybe never again. Flight line, 20 lengths clear. Flavion Pratt takes a hold and canters in in the TVG Pacific Classic. Flight line, your winner of the grade one at TVG Pacific Classic. Woo! Yes! <laughs> All set for the Del Mar handicap. Field sent on their mile and three eighths journey. They all began beautifully. Coming for home, Tango, Tango, Tango. Dicey Mo Cara at the rail. Dicey Mo Cara gets through. Masterpiece on the outside and Gold Phoenix coming flying. Gold Phoenix on the outside. They hit the wire. Close. Looked like Gold Phoenix. Now entering the winner's circle is the official winner of the Grade 2 Del Mar Handicap presented by the Japan Racing Association, number two, Gold Phoenix. Gold Phoenix is a four-year-old chestnut gelding by Bellardo out of Magnifica. He's owned by Little Red Feather Racing, Sterling Stables and Nafi. Winning trainer is Phil D'Amato, gives Phil D'Amato his second win today. The winning rider, Flavion Pratt, great day for Flavion Pratt, not only did he win the TVG Pacific Classic, Flavion Pratt rode four winners on the day. Gold Phoenix was bred in Ireland. Billy Koch, what did you make of the performance today? Well, I told Pratt in the paddock, I said, just like Flightline. So, it was exactly like Flightline. Yeah, I mean, I thought the races were very similar. And uh, no, really thank you to Pratt for coming into town. And obviously, Phil D'Amato owns this race. He's the best trainer 
I mean, he really is. He does such a great job, and his whole team and his staff. And to all the Little Red Feather partners that are out there, and to Kevin, I'm looking at you. Thank you for all the support, and uh, we're excited to go back to Kentucky. <laughs> right, that's where the Breeders' Cup is at Absolutely. Keeneland. Phil, what do you make of the sentiments from your owner there? Uh, you know, these guys have been giant supporters uh, for me since the beginning, since I started. So uh, Gary and Billy, you know, hats off to you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, Flavian, what can I say? I just, Please I told him, yeah, I told him I'm going to lock him in a room and he's not going back east anymore. So. I, I think that's a great idea. Flav, you're not leaving. You cannot get on the plane tomorrow. Uh, but jokes aside, how was it coming back to Del Mar? Uh, well, it's, it's great to be back home. Uh, obviously, I always had great support from Phil and the Little Red Feather uh, Nation. So it, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's so much fun when, when they put you on the best horses they have and and uh, I mean, Phil does an amazing job, and it's it's uh, it's great when it's uh, there like this. What will it take to bring you back to Southern California? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're gonna kidnap him. We're gonna kidnap him. Just give me a few months. It's gonna be 30 degrees, and I promise you, I'll be back. Okay. All right. He said a few months. He promises he will be back. I'm gonna take that. All right. Congratulations to all of you, Gary. Give me one word. What we just witnessed from Gold Gold Phoenix and Flightline. I think it would be remiss if we didn't also thank. From upstairs, Mike Mitchell, Phil's old boss. This this kind of race was was a staple, and uh, we owe a debt of gratitude to him always. He was definitely watching down today with Hong Kong Harry and, of course, Gold Phoenix. So a lot of love here in this winter circle. It's Gold Phoenix in the Del Mar Handicap, seven of the last nine runnings going to Phil D'Amato. Right. So if Flavian was just coming up, how would you greet each other? Monsieur, okay, so I'm in. And he says, say, wow. <laughs> I like the kid because he, he seems to be so nice, so polite, so gentle, so friendly, so highly educated, liking people. Don't joke. Maintenant, je fonce and fonce.